All right, Shalom, Akim, Shalom. All praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors goes into the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, from whom we have learned the truth. And much love and peace and blessings goes out to all you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. So um, I want to do this lesson, uh, this in transit show, just while the spirit and these thoughts are hitting me about how a purge is coming like i'm i'm pretty sure brothers have heard the news which has been getting around by ways of the internet and different brothers that uh chicago pretty much they're switching up the laws to where there will be no cash bonds for serious offenses like murder kidnapping threatening a public official uh and actually second degree murder to be specific uh Man, all kinds of things, right? Serious, heinous crimes. And this, look, these are the type of crimes perpetuated by people, I may say this, that you will want to be in fucking jail. Because what? If they're out on the streets, they're terrorizing the streets, man. And if I'm not mistaken, a lot of left-leaning, a lot of left-leaning, uh, cities and counties that was like so-called democrats right they've actually been you know being more lenient towards serious crime which is actually evil and wicked man it's that's wicked as hell wicked as all hell really because uh in the scriptures you know the holy bible which is the book of the Israelites It's all about law and order It's all about the law and order Of the most high And when our people Are in unison With their power and with their book We executed judgment For these particular crimes Like for example kidnapping The law for kidnapping in the scriptures is If a man stealeth the man And he be found in his hands That man shall surely be put to death So these situations where you got kids Get kidnapped possibly killed or ransomed off when that person gets caught according to the laws of the most high they're supposed to get their ass killed man because that's a serious crime all right but that's how you know that we live in a society that's ruled by the wicked that's ruled by a people that are perverse uh against the ways of the heavenly father you know what i'm saying now are our people perverse too do our people break the laws of the heavenly father yes we always have going back to the ancient world but the difference is you know what i'm saying when it comes to so-called blacks hispanics and native americans that's not our true calling because our identity can be traced back to abraham isaac and jacob through the curses that's put on us by the heavenly father for disobeying now these other nations they're just they're just naturally born reprobates you know what i'm saying meaning they lack discernment and wisdom to order their society you know what i'm saying so you know another aspect of this whole situation so like let me roll these windows up because it might be uh might be getting too much winds knocking out my voice but anyway another aspect of the situation is uh the prophecies man the prophecies which we've always been prophesying about about how there would be uh, invading one another as far as this this is in the book of second Esdras, how they would be invading one another and that really translates to you know if you want to get a mental picture it's home invasions robberies you know and these prophecies are playing out in all kind of ways because we always speak about how uh you know, there's going to be a lot of these chaotic situations and judgment because of the lack of resources. But also, this is because of the lack of prudence and the lack of righteousness from the leaders, from the judges to the, you know, politicians that are passing laws like this is making these prophecies manifest. You see, so... And the, the area I was specifically talking about 
if I didn't say that Salaki is out there in the state of Illinois. So that's where those type of laws are going to be. Uh, or this type of situations are going to be prevalent, you know, and Chicago as it is, is all in, you know, Chicago with this, which is the one of the top three or top five major cities of the United States, which is in northern Illinois. So they would fall under that jurisdiction where this stuff would be uh, going on, man. And so, like I was saying, it's already a city <clears throat> in an area that's riddled with crime, murder. That's why you have Chicago. It's called Chirac. Why is it called Chirac? Because of the amount of murders that take place, the killings and slayings. So that's already been going on. So be that as it may, when it comes to these laws being altered like this to where there's no cash bond, like basically these people that get charged with these offenses, they'll be set free until their next court date. So they'll be processed, booked, and then set free because there's no cash bond for these offenses. And this is a rumor, you know, because I'm not sure how this is going to play out exactly as of yet. But uh, it's crazy, man. So these people are going to, you know, get back out on the streets and commit more crimes after they didn't get gotten arrested for kidnapping or home invasion, burglary, murder. They just going to get get out and then go commit more fucking crimes, man. So this is going to this is going to this is going to make people uneasy, tense. You're probably going to see a lot more illegal gun ownership go up in the city of Chicago. And this is just from everyday citizens. Because of course, the, the niggas that's out on the block trying to get the ops, they have illegal guns. But then they're going to have guns, you know, big rifles and ARs owned by the average person out there like Edomites and other Jakes that living in the neighborhood, man. You know what I mean? And then there's going to be a lot more slaying because that's, you know, pretty much in the absence of law and order. You know, when these cops go out the window and like I said, they stop persecuting these uh, offenses, men start becoming a law to themselves. Like you going you might start having them more community watches and men on the lookout for crime and just pretty much being like an all all out wild wild west situation which which in times previous it was pretty much like that it was like if you had a time in prime time period in america called wild wild west and because the lack of uh you know government involvement and police officers you had people that you know look to protect themselves you know, they would hire bodyguards to transport, you know, cargoes. That's why you had stagecoach robberies where you had the dude. That's where you get the term riding shotgun from because the person transporting their guns, they would hire somebody to ride shotgun, which would be on a passenger side with an actual shotgun to protect themselves from robbers. So you're going to have a lot of that. You're going to have a lot of semi truck drivers that are going to be armed because some certain people will be looking to steal from them, you know? And that's why you had the situation go down in Memphis to where it was a Nike trailer. I think, I believe this was a, a, a train cart or something. The, I guess the train was parked at the train tracks or the cart, whatever it was, was on the train tracks, whatever. I, I don't know. I'm not sure the terminology, but anyways this was a shipment from nike out there in memphis and niggas had went up in there and stole about eight million dollars worth of nike gear man all kind of jordans and shit jake was taking and they gonna sell that shit man you know because pretty much society's breaking down you know there's a lack of morality and this has been going on this this lack of morality <coughs> lack of godly fear to just do the right thing it's, it's just going out the window you know what i'm saying because jake look 
Jake don't commit the crimes they commit because they're fucking starving, bro. They commit the crimes they commit because they want Netflix. Because they want a new outfit. Because they want to be lit on social media for the bitches, man. So I'm saying? And they're emotional and they're effeminate. And they want a certain lifestyle. It's not because they're so poor. They're just niggas, all right? And they're going to keep doing this. And it's going to get worse and worse as we see until the time Yahweh Shah approaches. Because this is really what it's all leading up to. You know what I'm saying? And it plays into that aspect. It's like, you know, we got to get the fuck out of here. Because as the prophets, as the men of the Lord, you know, we got families, man. We got, you know, people we care about. Of course, we care about the brothers first and foremost. So we don't want to be in the midst of this shit. That's why we pray to the Heavenly Father to, uh, even though we are going to be here, we pray for the Heavenly Father to make haste to send his son to save us from this society so we can get the hell out of here. Because Yahweh Shai, he's going to intervene in the midst of when all this chaos is breaking out to save his elect. Because really, that's the whole point. The Most High is shaking up the earth and... and introducing scenarios that are so crazy and so detrimental to life that his body of believers is going to need saving see right now yeah we do need saving but we're going to need need saving <laughs> as the saying goes you know what i'm saying we're going to need it for real because it's going to be so deadly out here so crucial certain brothers and sisters actually losing their life from persecution from the government's you know what I'm saying being taken as a witness, so that's why Yahweh Shai is gonna crack them clouds and he's gonna save his elect, man. And that's something that through all, all these situations that's going on, we gotta have our minds towards, you know what I'm saying? And, and in the interim from now until then, being circumspect with our behavior, you know what I'm saying? Not being out here being foolish and unwise as to, uh, uh, Incur the wrath of the Heavenly Father upon you. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's pretty much the, the lesson I want to do is going is a is the purge. Purge is coming. Shalom.